We've all known each other for a long time. Dwayne and I have known long each other time. for over 20 years. Yeah. Jeez. They're wow. that old. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're that old. Dirt. And, uh, and Gal and I have known each other for 44 years. Yeah. <laughs> Most of my work was with both of them. Um, so every day was a dreamy, dreamy day. Uh, but for me, I think for the three of us, maybe the first time we worked together, the three of us at the, the prison, the chapel, in the prison, in the in little the chapel yeah. thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that was, was my fun, favorite. Funny day as well, just because it was the entire. I mean, we wasted most of Netflix's money just laughing <laughs> all day. I mean, it literally it was like being called to the principal's office. Like, you guys have to have this together <laughs> you, you to and shoot this. something usable. Um, um, so that was for me. That was probably yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Well, we're all disciplined actors when we come on set. Ryan has this great ability, by the way, to really stay in it, knowing that it's the sh it's so funny. Yeah. But Gall and I we will just break up and just it. laugh. Yeah. I'm dead inside. So. Just <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel anything. Just, yeah. I was like, but, God, let me just feel sick. But then eventually he will laugh. It's hard to get him to laugh, but yeah. when he does, it's the best thing. No, I like. Well, the thing that gets me is like DJ and Gall, like when they're in a, in a scene or something and they're messing around a little bit. They'll, you guys both do this, by the way. You get like a little eye twitch, and that makes me laugh. Like I see your eyes sort of twitch a little bit, and then I loot. Then I'm gone. I don't know where I go, and then I come back like five minutes later, and I'm, everyone's giving me dirty looks. How'd you find me? You stole William Strang's lady with the red hat from the tape. You can't prove that was me. I got that on Etsy. I admire both of them. Uh, they are, first of all, both uh, Ryan and DJ are amazing family guys and amazing fathers. And we would have many, many conversations about parenthood and all of that and, and work and how do you balance and how do you, how you do all together. Mm -hmm. And they're talented and smart and warm and they care about people. I was completely taken with Gall's ability to She's just like a walking skin covered charm attack. Like oh, I right. did not wow, see it coming. Great. The first couple the of days of shooting were she, <laughs> it was like Cary Grant or something. You were just oh, so kind God. of like slip in and out of like threatening to funny. And then just, you could suddenly do these like incredible action sequences. But I just, that versatility was so, I mean, I've seen it on screen, but to see it when you're up close and in person is always yeah. the great kind of gift of this industry is you're working with Ryan, people that you admire and love. You. And then you're like Sheesh. standing next to them and they're killing it. DJ <laughs> is a guy that, no, no, I'm not going where you think I'm going. Uh, I was really, t you know, cause I've known him for a long time. We've had a lot of good heart to hearts and stuff, but I was blown away by how, cause when you're with him, we were so consistently together that just to see his vulnerability was something I thought was really beautiful. I know that's probably not what you're hoping I was going to no, get no, into no. right over here. I appreciate but that. But it's Thank it you. is a, it is I think a part a huge part of his global appeal is that people kind of sense it without necessarily putting a, a finger on it or or being able to and articulate it. It's yeah, yeah, big huge heart, but but very open and very vulnerable. And I just love wow. That. Yeah. All right. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Man. Thank you. Good night. You have to be the two dumbest men on the planet. You look awful. Hmm. I've known Gal for a very long time. I have always been really impressed, not only as Ryan was saying with her presence, she really has an incredible presence the moment she walks into the room an energy that is palpable and the most positive, always smiling, always optimistic, always taking care of the people around her and making it, and really bringing everybody on, yeah. up on set. And I've known Ryan for a very long time. We started our careers together. I've had a front row seat watching his success over the years, watching all these great choices he's made, build out his businesses and everything. So by the time we came together on Hobbs and Shaw and realized we wanted to work together mm -hmm. on, on Red Notice, it was like, the trust was there, the love was there, the bond, the friendship, the brotherhood. The thing that really moved me most was when we, the first day of Red Notice, now I'm really gonna bring the energy up in the room. My dad died <laughs> the first day. The first day of Red wow. Notice, my dad died. So we, I, I had to leave, came back five days later after the funeral and everything. There was one person waiting for me the moment I walked in that door on set and it was Ryan. Arms open, gave me a big hug and a big kiss. And he's like, I got you, man. And it was really, really moved me and it meant a lot. It makes me emotional because, uh, you know, everyone was so supportive, but 
my guy was right there waiting. And I know that he had joined that club too. His father had passed away. And that set the tone for the rest of the movie. Like we're now we're anchored in this brotherhood that, mm. that is beyond the movie. Uh, that okay, really moved me, so. I don't know if it's the hormones or what the fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. But this is like, no, it's oh. beautiful.